Welcome to Black Coffee TV, and today we're going to be checking out Charlie Kirk getting in one of his usual spats with college students. And in this one, apparently he calls a student a coward, so this one seemed like a pretty good one to check out today. Let's go. Why are you here? Why is this your career? You come here to our campuses, you make an ass out of us with clever editing. No, you guys do a pretty good job of making yourselves look like that. Charlie doesn't have to do any editing. Of course, some of the editing that is done does help the representation and this does a good job of showing you guys for what you truly are but you guys do a good job just taking care of that form and just doing that yourself and so far seven seconds in you are doing a great job it's honestly pathetic you think this is a real job i mean dude dude like we're out here getting real jobs like dude like dude like like man like but like <sighs> It's really funny to me that you're sitting here trying to chastise him and, and you're trying to be so confrontational and disputatious and you're trying to really just get, I mean, really aggressive with him, but it's, you're having trouble formulating a sentence, it seems, and like, and dude, you're like, me and like, come on, man. If you're going to insult people, at least be able to do it without like and dude and man and all of these filler words. And you're bothering us day to day. It's, it's pathetic, dude. Why are you wearing a mask? <laughs> because I don't. <laughs> Let's see what he goes in on to say about that. Facial identification like that. <laughs> Facial identification. So he wants, to, he does. He wants to hide behind him a COVID mask because he doesn't want someone seeing him or like recognizing him that he's over here trying to get into a verbal altercation with somebody. I also wanted to mention the comment he made is like, we're out here doing real jobs and getting real jobs and saying, is this not a real job? Like commentating and doing this line of work. Yeah. Pretty legitimate job. And, and what Charlie has done and what he's built in turning point is a very legitimate operation. I would be interested to know what he studies, though. I would like to know what he studies, just out of kind of morbid curiosity. I would venture to guess that in the five to ten years down the road, it's not going to be something that's what would be called a legitimate job, as he says. Maybe so, but that's just me speculating. Man, you. Oh, who so, cares? so you're afraid of people finding out who you are? I don't just, it's not. It's we have not, a word for that. You know what that dude, is? Our... You're here to just. <laughs> that's, that's true i love that that is the res that's always the resort to to the left and to the and to democrats and to, to these far left liberals is that any time that they try to get on the same level and and speak with someone that they have an opposition to that and that is an interlocutor to them and is an opposing viewpoint it always devolves to that. It always devolves to the ad homs. And it always devolves to the man, you're effing this and you're so pathetic and, you know, F you and, you know, go to hell and all of these things that just, it just devolves into that kind of, you know, playground tactic. Make fun of everybody. I encourage everybody to just make fun of him. Charlie, should I be celibate? You think that's going to validate you, though? Because you're not getting under Char like you're not getting under his skin, you're not getting under Charlie's skin, you're not getting under Charlie's skin. So what do you have to do? You have to resort to then ad homing and making fun and trying to do everything you can to unsettle your interlocutor, and that just goes to show that's the normal tactic. That's the normal thing is just launching into ad homs and doing your best to get you emotionally involved. And when you discuss with people like this and you discuss with anybody that has an opposing viewpoint, that's what you got to do. You just got to stay emotionally cold and have to say very level line because that takes away their power. Should I be celibate? Dude, for a guy wearing Should a I mask, be celibate? I would be really careful about throwing around jokes to other people at oh, this yeah? point. Very true. <laughs> well, I think the whole wearing the mask itself period is doing you enough job to be celibate dude let's just be honest 
And if you're wearing a mask, even worse, outside, you're outside in open air wearing a mask. That's all you need to know. Tells you everything you need to know. If you like the video, hit like, and we'll see you next time.